using ChatGPT or an AI with Scrapebox to scrape phone numbers from any website, basically anywhere in the world. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. My name is Ryan Borden. Let's jump into this. I get this from time to time. People want to scrape phone numbers and I get uh, questions where they have different phone number formats and it's not set up. So there are actually, I, uh, I had a number, it's thousands, I believe, different phone number formats around the world. And so you can see anything. So like I'm in the USA, right? And so you see, we have uh, a set of three numbers usually, and then three more numbers and then four numbers after that, right? But that form format can come in something like this and yada, 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 yada. It can come in something like I just showed you with uh, parentheses and then this sort of thing. It can come in this. It could come in, you know, da a, a dash here. It can have dashes all the way through or partly dashes all the way through. So like there's tons of formats just in the USA, then, you know, North America, Europe, Canada, Asia, South America. Um, I was naming continents and I put Canada in there. Um, anyways, you get the point around the world. There's like tons and tons of formats. I'm sure if we asked chat GPT, how many formats there are, it would tell us. But the point is there's a lot scrape box. Some of them conflict. So if you try to match one, it matches another one partially. And so you get a bunch of false positives and you don't want a bunch of false positives cluttering up your data. So what scrape box did was when they built it in here, the grab phone numbers function, which is under grab check and grab phone numbers, they just put masks and you can train it. There's a few sample ones. I think it comes with like this one, this one, and this one. And I've got some other ones in there, but you can see it looks like this. You give it a name, uh, you give it a, an expected data format, and then you give it a regex without the carrot and the asterisk. So standard regex has a carrot and an asterisk. Uh, if you know what it is, great. If you don't, it doesn't matter. You just do, don't do it with it. And so, um, and then you can have some uh, other must and must not contain. It's pretty straightforward, but it can be a little confusing sometimes. Um, even for me, like it's not confusing, but it just takes a minute to do, right? And so I have this website uh, where I put a post, it's scrapeboxfact.com. And uh, if you just put in phone, search regex for phone number scraping, right? So I tell how to do it. I give some examples, but we can make it even easier. But this is prior to, this is from 2020, right? Long before AI really was a thing. So shows you how to do everything, tells you the, the flavor of the regex and all that jazz, right? So what can we do to make this simpler? Well, this is a sample website. It's uh, chamberofcommerce.com. This website's interesting because if you go through here, there's all these listings, right? And I just hit go and it's just randomness. But um, this listing has this phone number format. And this listing has this phone number format. And there may even be other phone number formats yet in here. But if I wanted to do that, this format right here is not built into Scrapebox by default. I think this one is maybe, I'm not even sure if it is, let's see. Um, we have there and there. So this one might be built in, but this is really easy to deal with. So. All we do is I'm just going to grab everything off this page, highlight it, copy it, and we're going to go to chat GPT. I'm just going to say, based on the below data, I need to make a regex for multiple phone numbers. Here is the data. I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to go down. I'm just holding shift and enter. Here is the phone formats I need. Please make me the regex. Right, so now I'm going to give it this phone number format here, give it as many phone number formats as you want. And boom, and copy. Did I just do that one? No, no. okay. Boom. Okay. It's gonna pop back. Here we go. It's going to give you all of this sort of stuff. You could just put in there. Don't give me all the nonsense. Just give me the, ex the regex itself. But at any rate, here it is. Um, oh, so we want one for each. Separate reg X for each phone number format. And then also 
don't give me all the explanation. Just give me the regex. Boom. So here we go. So it gives us the two patterns, right? So we're going to copy it. Pretty easy. Go back into scrape box. And I'm just going to go new mask. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to put one, whatever. Uh, I'm going to put this in. And this one is for, sorry, my phone's going off in the background. This one is for this phone number format. So we want to give it expected data, of course. And there's that and save as new mask. Now it's number one. And then I'm just gonna put new mask number two, copy the data or the regex and then copy the phone format, expected data. And then save as new mask. I don't know what these things are. So see, you can see here's different phone formats that I've built in from different whateverness. Um, I'm going to delete these things just to get them out of here so they don't confuse. Again, if you had like 100 in here, it'd start to cause issues because you would get false positives on number matching you. It would just be, get crazy. So let us close out of that. Now let's grab these URLs. I'm just going to copy this URL and paste it into Scrapebox. I'm going to copy this one and paste it into Scrapebox. And I'm going to grab phone numbers. And then I'm going to go back in here to grab phone numbers. Just make sure my masks are still there. Yep. Uh, I'm checking just because if you forget to actually hit save, then it doesn't save them. And I've done that before. All right. So it should load in. We have two URLs. It's going to pull from here automatically. And URLs in queue zero right now. We should look at settings real quick. So the connections, we can set this up. You know, whatever you don't want to go crazy. If you had like a thousand URLs here from the same Chamber of Commerce website, you might want to use proxies, or you would want to put this connection to like one. And I'm just gonna put it to one. The crawl level, you can actually crawl through the site. Level one is the, um, the actual URLs we load in. If we wanted to put like level two, it would go through any page that this links to. I don't want to do that. I just want the pages I load in. Uh, I can allow duplicate phones. I can do proxy retries, which means if a proxy fails, we want to try a new proxy. And that's usually a good thing to do if you're using proxies. I would recommend paid proxies, but still sometimes stuff happens. So proxy retries are nice if you're using proxies. And autosave phones and autosave with URLs. Fine, just fine. All right. You can also export the stuff when we're done, right? But I'm going to hit start and we will see some stuff pop through. I've got 11 phone numbers actually because I'm sure it got this phone number and then there must be other phone numbers. Yes, yeah, so there's other phone numbers down here uh, in the page as we go through here and other phone numbers in the auto in the ads, I guess. Anyways, so at least on that particular site. So we have all these phone numbers. We can see the different formats, some of them like this, some of them like this. And so maybe this site has 10 different formats. I don't know. I didn't look through everything on the whole country, but you could just build those in and away you go. So that's really how you do it. Uh, ChatGPT makes it really easy. You just grab the paste, uh, grab grab this post on my site, and I will link this in the description. Pop it in ChatGPT, or probably Bard will do it, or at least not Bard and I, Jim and I will do it, and probably a half a dozen other G GPTs, if not more, will do it. It's pretty basic. Uh, I was using a paid version of ChatGPT, but I think like... I don't even know what is free these days because I just keep paying for it. But I'm sure that the free models will work too because this is uber basic and I started doing it with this when I think ChatGPT was only free at like 3.5 or I don't know. It doesn't matter. It works. It's really basic. All right. That is how you use ChatGPT and Scrapebox to scrape phone numbers from basically any website around the world.